hello and welcome to my channel today we're gonna make something simple okay we're gonna make a pipe elbow okay something like pipe join like that or l join or anything okay let's make an l join okay let's uh, hide this camera press edge to hide press one front view you can use actually a, a cylinder okay and you just go to edit mode press this one and hold the controller and and right click make something like that it's also fine but for, but now let's make something simple okay let's delete this one now press the zoom it out go to edit mode make sure the default cube uh, don't delete okay it's useful we do, we do edit mode face mode press the up the up face I press one here and more accurate just use the snapper tool here our oh, snap okay and let's extrude it go something like this okay it snaps every uh, the grid like that okay something like that let's do here let's delete the face here because we don't need this face if you're here it's a joint okay <laughs> and let's use the edge press one extrude with the x-axis something like that extrude scale is just one okay you can see the line there and it's true that 3x just a little bit for the pipe to connect okay oh i forgot i should turn on the snapper again i turn it off uh, <laughs> okay now let's go to here search face let the face we don't need the face edge mode select the edge here make sure you're alt okay and select the edge press one extrude scale something like that and extrude that to the z axis how many verses is this? one two three four five six seven forty one two three four five six seven is it seven yeah it's seven that work <laughs> okay so what i'm seeing here is it's quite a little bit too long so we want to make it shorter so i'm gonna to go to uh, over here wireframe go to edge mode or you can you just go here don't go to the face mode because there's no face here oh you, actually your face will do it too gg not gg grab that to the z oh make sure you turn off the snapping tool grab that to z something over there i'm gonna make it shorter grab this one too to the x to make it shorter something like that and let's go to a solid view and that's how we want it okay now let's set the subdivision surface if you if you already know control tree to add the subdivision subdivision surface and tree or you can just maybe go here but if you use the shortcut is better so i'm going to show you uh, just i'm going to show you here okay subdivision surface increase that to three okay Three would do, or you can just use four to for more smoothness. <laughs> so go to here. Let's go to edge mode. Press two. Now we want to make this over here uh, sharp. Okay. Go to edge mode. Select the edge mode. Edge here and edge here as well. Press N to open the tab here. And go to the item and increase the mean increase to one. Okay now it looks sharper and it looks a little bit like more pipe now for the here the middle here you can you can use the mean crease but it didn't quite work so in order to do, make it a hundred percent l shape add another loop cut for here something like over there and this one over there it would be easy if you use the snapping tool let's see if it works Yes, it works. Thing over there. Okay. There you have it, guys. You just made yourself an L join for your pipe. Now let's uh, shade smooth this one. If you want, I'm going to increase this to four because I want it to look smooth as hell. <laughs> let's add the solidify. I guess I don't think the pipe is, well, it don't, it's not solid. Okay. Let's increase the thickness. Ooh. Something over there. 
uh, how about I'm just 0 0.10 yeah something like that would do now there's one thing again this space is now rounded it's supposed to be a sharp edge we can just adjust that if if it works okay let's try no it didn't work let's apply it first okay the subdivision let's apply should we apply now yes yes let's apply oh make sure in object mode the cursor must be over here apply apply the solidify as well let's see whoa look at that that's very cool right now look at the problem here you can see that it's a weird line over there so if you want to fix that quickly you can just go to here object data properties normal and all the smooth it should, it should solve the problem yep it does solve the problem nicely okay so that's very easy right that's how you make a simple uh, l join very cool right now let's paint it for the shading i think that already looks good in white okay so let's just use white white would do make it a little bit darker nah white would do let's oh gosh i should do it yeah there we go let's just add a bump bump would do if you want color ram color ram would do too just add a bump you know uh this thing's supposed to be uh, well uh, scratches or something dirty if you want it dirty you can use color ram okay shader pick anything you want oh no i mean the texture anything you want guys anything you want for me well noise is our favorite i mean my favorite fact to the height whoa look at that very ugly scale detail I think I'm gonna go with detail. I'm gonna leave the scale over there. Roughness, if you increase to zero, nah. Increase, increase, something over there. Distortion, we don't need distortion. But what we need to adjust is the strain, okay? We only need a little bit, just a little bit. Something. Oh, that's too much. Huh. Way too much, maybe a 0 0.100. Yeah, that looks fine. Very cool. It's not rocky stuff, but it's plastic. Now let's increase this one. Make it plastic. Specular if you need to be shine, roughness if you want it to be a uh, well reflective. But I don't need it. So yeah. There you have it guys. Very simple L join and fun to make very cool right so that's all for today thanks for watching and i'll see you next time on the next tutorial okay yeah okay bye now